All right. Well, we're sitting at um, Starbucks right now, and it's very noisy and there's music, so I don't know how much of this you're going to be able to hear, but I'll try to video for just a minute. I'm doing on this dog, on this dog, on Levi. There's a little kid running over there. He likes, he wants, seems to want to approach kids. Um, I'm doing, I'm actually videoing because I'm going to try to show you how to do what's called T-Touch. Um, so I'm going to, I take my hand, if you see I have my thumb, and I kind of cut my hand in this position. I don't know if you can see that. And I put all four fingers, contact the skin, kind of with the thumb right there next to it, and just do a circle and a half. And you want to always end with a up motion, bringing the muscle back up. I'm actually not doing a deep massage. I'm just trying to move the skin. What it does is it just starts to get the dog aware of his whole body and help him relax. So circle up, circle up, circle up. And I'm going to go down the length of, follow his spine, parallel to his spine. Circle up, circle up. Circle up, circle up, and then I'm coming over to the other side of his spine. Circle up, circle up, circle up, circle up, circle up, circle. And notice I'm not pushing hard. See how his skin is just moving? That's all I'm working at, just moving that skin. I'm especially doing, I'm coming up and doing his head quite a bit. Sometimes I even skip the rest of his body and go right to his head just because he's so shy with people touching his head. We came over to Starbucks and in the notes, I'll get more in detail about the notes and why I'm showing you how to do this T-touch method, um, but I figured a video of me circle up, showing me how to do it, circle up, and even just on the head, just a light circle, circle up, and I'm not, again, I'm not getting pushing deep into the muscle just moving the skin, circle up. Now he started out very alert and kind of, and you see he keeps looking around every time there's a noise. He's like, oh, where is that coming from? But he started out in a sit position, I mean in a standing position, and he was, every time there was a noise, he would turn his whole body in the direction of that noise. Finally, I got him to sit, see him going down towards the tail. Now I'm going to come over to the other side. Circle up, circle up circle up. What I got with this T-touch was finally he sat and then finally, and I'm actually going to go back down the body, circle up, circle up, circle up, circle up. Um, and I got him to a point to where he laid down. Um, he's still obviously very alert. Every time he hears a noise, he goes and looks towards it. But like one time this guy passed and I was doing the T-touch on his back end and I came to skip from the back end right back up to the front end and the minute I touched his head, boy, he just jumped almost out of his skin just because he was looking at somebody that he was a little nervous about. So um, I'll go into more detail in the notes as to why I'm showing you how to do this T-touch. Like I said, I'm doing a lot of focusing on his head because he's so head shy. He doesn't want people to pet him on top of his head. And still, even though, I mean, you can see he's just really looking and watching what everybody is doing, at least he's laying down in a, in a pretty decently relaxed position. Like I said, we started this session and he was standing and moving every single time, moving in the direction of the sound. And then we got, I did the, I started doing the massage and we got to a sit and then we got to a down. So I'm going to do this just for a few more minutes and see if I can get him to just get a even a little bit more relaxed and I'll give more details in his notes as to why I'm talking about this T-touch stuff. All right, that's it for, for now. Can we get little Levi? Can we get your face in the video? Good boy.